Hi my peeps, what's up Wagwan? Welcome back to your girl Tiana in the house. Yes, yes. Guys, please remember to leave me one little bit of like and subscribe for other amazing content. Now my peeps are gonna make some Jamaican folding bread or butter flop or cocoa bread, any how you wanna call it. Instead of using regular 2% milk, I'm gonna use some coconut milk. Alright, so it's gonna be cocoa. So it's gonna be coconut folding bread. Mm -hmm. Butter flour. Alright. Now to start off, I have two cups of all-purpose flour. Alright. We're gonna use this pack. I got it from Amazon. I will leave a link. It's the instant yeast. And we're gonna go in with one teaspoon. You can use a teaspoon and a half if you want, but one teaspoon is good. I add two tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna go in with one egg. I took out the whites or the chalaza and it's cold, so I'm gonna put it at the side. We're gonna add half teaspoon salt. If you can come on, guys. So half teaspoon salt, Oops. you can add one if you want. I'm gonna add it away from the yeast. Yeast don't like salt, salt don't like yeast. <laughs> you can use three tablespoon of melted butter. I'm gonna go in with some extra virgin olive oil. And instead of using three tablespoon, I'm gonna use two for now. And then I'm gonna add one more after. You're gonna see what I'm gonna do guys. And you need one cup of coconut um, milk. Okay, that's it. Now you wanna warm this in the microwave. You wanna warm it to touch. All right, guys, after you warm it to touch, go ahead and pour the whole shebang in it. And you want a wooden spoon, you're gonna mix it, all right? This is gonna be so good. We're gonna put a little bit of oil on the surface and you want to oil your hand as well okay. leave your bowl you're gonna need it later all right you're gonna get your hand in it and you're gonna mix Knead it for about five to seven minutes, all right? Oh, you need your, you're gonna need your scraper. If it's stuck, you just scoop it up, okay? You can put some oil on it as well. So that's the other teaspoon comes in right there, all right guys? So what you're gonna do, just take it up and fold it in. Continue to do like that, all right? Knead it anyhow you like. So you can use both hands like that, or you can use one. You see how it's soft and fluffy, guys? Right, so nice. You can also do it like this. And if you wanna make more, just double up on the ingredients, all right? All right, guys, once you stretch it and it's not ripping, it's good. All right. Come over here, put a little bit of olive oil, just a smidge, and you're gonna mix it. All right. Flip it over. You're gonna cover it up with anything. Uh, dish towel, tablecloth, <laughs> piece of grease proof paper. It's up to you, because you're gonna let it rise. I'm gonna use a piece of grease proof paper. Just put it over it, close it down. Seal in the heat, basically. All right. Um, you wanna leave it at room temperature. All right, and you're gonna leave it for 60 minutes to hour, hour and a half. This is my pizza pan. It's a big pizza pan. Ooh, you can do. <laughs> put a little oil. 
<sighs> you can add some flour if you don't want to put the oil. All right, we're going to set this aside. Now you're going to need some flour, all right? Just a little bit for the top to top on the surface like so. Oh, go ahead and preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to bake this bad boy for about 25 minutes. Guys, you see how fluffy and nice? Look at this. All right, just go ahead and punch out the extra ear bubbles. Boop, boop, boop. Punch, punch, punch. I like to fold it in as well. You can do whatever you want. Do whatever you like. Surface, out, pop. So down the middle we go. Woo! Look at this, guys. Look at them. Oh! Roll that one side there, so. Roll this, so. Woo! Let's do some big one. They're gonna be big. We're gonna do um, six. You can do eight. All right, guys. I'm gonna be big. Yippee! Wee! Put a little bit of flour on your hand. Grab one. Wee! That one is too fast. Let's cut off a little piece at the edge. Woo. I'm gonna put it with that little one here. We're so fine over here. So. All right, guys. Just a little flour. Can okay, you just set them over there? So easy see how it nice go ahead and fold it fold it a few times so easy spin it over tuck it in and with these ones you're gonna make them right away all right we're just gonna form them out in some balls set it there repeat the process up close tuck it in grab it up just pinch it basically so when you pinch it, all right, just roll it a ball. And boy, this little piece we cut off. So just fold them in. Six bad boy. Kana, grab the first one you make, our second. All right. So basically, I'm gonna make two cocoa bread or two falling bread and four butter flops all right press it press it yeah see guys i hope you are seat nicely get your rolling pin put a little bit of flour like so and you're gonna roll it to the size you desire all right if you want them broad roll it broad you want it small roll it not too bad <laughs> all right guys we don't know in our own but anyhow just roll it up all right you can even stretch it like this if you want all right oh my god guys this is really coconut Woo -hoo. get some water i'm using some of this salted um plant-based um basil butter good heart health all right guys or you can use olive oil. I'm going to switch it up both ways and show you. All right. So we're going to melt about uh, two tablespoons or a tablespoon a little bit. Go ahead and get your butter, your melted butter. Or you don't have to really melt it this much. You're going to add a little bit of butter. I'm going to put butter on few and you can use olive oil. Healthier choice. All right. We're just going to show you how you do it. So go ahead and add butter lightly on the top. All right. Move that aside. All right, you can get your water and you can pinch the edge with the water on one side. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna show you with one hand. Go ahead and fold it over. All right. Use a fork and just pinch the edge. Just like that, guys. All right, and you're gonna set it like this on the tray. You gotta swell up our time, guys. I'm gonna do one with the olive oil, and we're gonna go ahead and move this out the way. And you wanna repeat the process, all right, guys? If you don't want to um, roll it with the rolling pin, just go ahead and stretch it. All right. If you don't have no rolling pin at home, guys, you can do it this way too. All 
All right. And this time, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Just like that. Take a little bit of olive oil. Brush it in. Don't have to overdo it. All right, guys. All right, and go ahead and fold it in. And just pinch the sides. All right. And you just set it over here. That's how you make the falling bread or cocoa bread, all right? So it's the same process. We're gonna just make, I'm just gonna make one of the butter flap and show you. It's the same process, all right, guys? Just go ahead and roll it. I'm gonna continue with the olive oil. Just put a little pinch. After you can serve it up with cheese. Oopsie, too much. Olive oil is healthier, so I always use olive oil. So go ahead and fold it, just like that. And put a little bit more oil on this side. Just use the brush, all right? And then you just fold it again. All right, guys. So that's how you make the butter flour. And you just set it over here as well. I'm using olive oil now, guys. All right, guys, this is how they all looking. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Now, my peeps, you see this one a little bit wingy, wingy, guys, because I'm a hand me use with that one. But anyhow, the rest look really fluffy and nice. All right. All right, my peeps, now you can go ahead and cover them with a big kitchen towel. <laughs> or if you have one old clean shirt. <laughs> I don't have a big one, all right, guys? I want to use some paper towel. Oi. All right, just let it sit on the stove top. All right, remember, I said we already one. We're gonna let these sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Grab any milk of your choice 2%, coconut, almond, soy, whatever milk you want to put. All right, and you're just gonna um, glaze them, just brush the top. When you do it like that, guys, when the cocoa bread come out, it'll dry out and all of that, okay. All right, we're gonna do all of them like this, guys. All right, guys, them fat and juicy. We're gonna pop them in the oven for 25 minutes. You can go up to half an hour or you can do 20 minutes. It's up to you. I'm gonna go right in the middle. So 25 minutes and we're gonna come back at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. And guys, I them a call but a flop. Oh, them so big and flop, floppy. <laughs> Soft as well, guys. And my two cocoa bread. Mm-hmm. Some more olive oil over here. You don't have to put it, guys, but when I put it, the top moist and you know, good. So just go ahead and put a little, not too much. Don't overdo the thing. Ooh, you can eat it with some Jamaican Ooh, beef patty. All right, our cheese patty, chicken patty. Mm -hmm. You don't have to make them so big. I show me greedy. You can get about a good eight, even ten out of these. Depends on the size you want. All right. So you don't have to be so greedy on it. So I put them on some paper towel, and that's how they're looking. All right, guys. You see them look pretty and nice. Mister them fat. You see. You see how soft them be, guys. Look at this. And them not dry out. You see. All right. 
let's take the piece here over here so see soft and nice all right i have one little piece of cheese i'm just gonna show you guys i can't open it like this set the cheese in the middle guys it's still warm i melt the cheese a little bit all right so you can't see so i went ahead and i melt the cheese Guys, look at this. Look at the bread. Look at guys. Mm. You're gonna tell me some hand was on lotion, guys. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, I bite it, guys. I did it. Mm. 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 Oh my goodness. Open this like this. I set the party in it. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. So light and fluffy. Mm. It's too good. Try this recipe and tell me what you think. Mm -mm. Light. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have a good day.